New York at the home of the Knicks. It's the NBA. Buckle yourselves in, everybody. It's the NBA on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan alongside Greg Anthony as well as Doris Burke. And we've got David Aldridge on the sideline. And David Aldridge is standing by for our pregame report. David, good evening. Well, Kevin, Heat coach Eric Spolster has worked his way up from the bottom, and he's still one of the most driven people you'll meet. He said, I hate this quality, but I can go to dark levels when we lose. I'm inconsolable. Then I get this crazy, intense focus, desperate not to be embarrassed again. That dark spot is what I tap into. Creativity comes from there. Kevin? Thanks, DA. That effort permeates through the entire team. Couple conference rivals going head to head. That ups the ante in this one. A certain amount of uh, <laughs> I know you too well. Yeah. I don't like you. We've seen each other too much. The games have been too hard. It's the complete antithesis of what you and I feel for one another, Kevin. But Doris, having played, having coached, do you really know a team too well? Does that really come with that kind of familiarity? And well, yeah, I think I think sometimes, you know, you know this guy wants to go right if he puts it on the deck. You know that he's going to pull up the jumper going to the mid-range. I mean, there's just so many tendencies. When you've seen a team over and over like we've done here, you, you get to know their tendencies so well that I'll tell you, the game becomes very challenging. So here's Miami's starting group. A lot of length up front with Bosch and Whiteside in the middle. Rogic is out there with Deion Waiters. And it's Winslow in at the three spot. Now here's Lee after Deion Waiters miss. Lee kicks to Anthony. Sinks the triple. Anthony's got the game going with his first points of the game for the Knicks. When Melo's rolling, you can put two, three hands up and contest, and it won't matter. He's just that good. Waiters passes to Whiteside. Back to Waiters. He's now one for two with that bucket. You know, the basket is good, but it's all about the assist there. That pass led him to just the right spot on the floor. No other screen. Anthony kicks to Porzingis. Stolen by Waiters. In transition, here comes Miami. Dragic is running. It's stolen by Rose. Porzingis passes to Rose. Porzingis kicks to Anthony. Rose dishes to Lee. And Winslow pulls it down. That's a shot he's got to hit. You don't get many looks better from that range. Anthony with the block. Uh, Mello just reading the play the right way, putting the extra effort to come up with such a nice block. And great hustle to turn that block shot into a fast break opportunity. Big time play on both ends. There's Dragic following the basket by Kristaps Porzingis. Wide side, the pass to Dragic. Well timed pass, and he goes straight to the bucket for the layup. Defensively, that possession better not start a trend because they just handed him two points. If you're the coach, you hope it's a wake-up call. Get them to tighten things up on the inside and start protecting the rim with a little bit more authority. Wants to get it back to Whiteside and does. Yeah, way to play in attack mode and get to the line. Miami shooting their first free throws of the game. He misses the free throw. Well, the media capital of the world, New York City, are at least considered by many to be that. So the expectations and the intensity of scrutiny on the Knicks is always high. It puts a lot of pressure on this organization to field a winner. And he sinks the second. And Doris, it's not as easy in today's NBA for the big market teams like the Knicks to exploit that advantage. Right, Kevin, because a harsher luxury tax reigns in spending. And with the internet and global audience, players are willing to go to smaller markets. The Knicks having to compete now on a more level playing field. How about three or four from the floor to start? That's always a good sign. Right side of screen. Dishes to Waiters. The go ahead bucket, no good. Oh man, you know he'd love to have that one over. Rose kicks to Porzingis. 13 feet away. He doesn't hit that one. And it's Miami the other way. 
outside Dragic. Out of bounds. New York takes possession. That's a horrific turn. There's just no excuse to throw the ball away like that. The Knicks with the lead. Rose dishes to Lee. Kicks to Anthony. Lee passes to Rose. Anthony on the wing. From 13. No good off the front iron. Boy, clear breakdown on defense. They're, they're fortunate that he didn't make them pay. Rogic kicks to Bosch. Noah with the block. Raiders against Lee. At the elbow, it's Noah. And Anthony gets it to go on the assist by Noah. Anthony's got five points so far. They're just such a high percentage look, but with Mello, it's almost just a given. Tough to stop. Bosch. And again, it's the Heat missing. Defensive positioning so important, and he could not have played him better there. Anthony kicks to Persingas. Some nice passing by New York here. Lee passes to Persingas. Six to shoot. Fires from deep. And it's Miami with the rebound. Bosch dishes to Winslow. Rogic against Rose. Rogic kicks to Bosch. Makes it off the glass. And a nice job here early of establishing an inside presence. Lee with the ball. Outside, Brzingis. Shoots from 12. And it's Anthony again missing. Miami trailer. Here's Trogic. No good. That would have tied it. That is some tough defense there against one of the better finishers in our game. And that one is good. You know, and that was a nice find by KP. Saw the open man. He was on time, on target with the pass. Perfect. Rogic against Rose. Rogic the pass to Bosch. It's rebounded by New York. Persingas has got his third rebound tonight. To the middle. Rose dishes to Noah. It's Carmelo Anthony on the wing. Back to Noah. The shot, no good. Good work defensively by Whiteside. The Heat trail by four. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. Rogic kicks to Bosch. And there's the whistle. Fouled hard on the shot. He'll go to the line. The Heat have converted one of two free throws so far today. Yeah, last year, collectively, only 74% from the line. And he makes the first. And New York making a change here. O'Quinn's checked in. Both free throws good from Bosch. Among the league's big men, he stands out for his free throw shooting. He's always steady there. Now here's Rose. He hasn't scored yet. That I'm sure will change. Outside, Brzingis. Yes, and he throws with the assist that time. Well, Porzingis will make you pay if you collapse off of him. And Miami calls their first time out of the game. Well, as broadcasters, we get a view that maybe some fans miss as to how hard these players work. You've talked about this a lot, Doris. Behind every shot, every play, every dribble, so many countless hours spent in the gym to perfect what they're doing. Well, so I would say an NBA game is 48 minutes long. And I would say probably for every 48 minutes, you are talking about uh, an extraordinary commitment in the gym. What Steph Curry does on a nightly basis makes the game look easy when, in fact, He's paid a price by the time he's spent, just like every other NBA player, honing their craft. But I don't ever sense that it's drudgery to them. No. That they enjoy the game so much, like you, 
that it's it's just it's in their DNA. I think their passion and joy is evident on a nightly basis, and for us, we're lucky to watch it. Isn't that fun? Oh, yeah. it's a blast. No doubt. Just a blast. The Heat trail by five. Bosch a screen on lead. Waiters passes to Bosch. Rogic kicks to Bosch. Let's it go from the wing. Buries the jump shot. Bosch has got six points. The Knicks have gone six of 12 from the field here in the first quarter. Rose dishes to lead. Outside Anthony for the three. And it's Whiteside with the rebound. Whiteside's got three rebounds so far in the game. You know, it's been hard for him to find the range this quarter, but I do like his aggressiveness. Now here's Winslow. He's had some playing time, but no scoring yet from him. Down to five on the shot clock. Shoots from 12. Whiteside, no good. The Knicks leading by three. Releases. Porzingis can't hit. And uh, Miami shooting 33% here in the first quarter. Waiters passes to Whiteside, and that one drops. Yeah, sharp pass inside. Did well to get the ball into the high percentage area. Lee kicks to Rose. Anthony against Winslow. Anthony down low. He's got five. Buries it down low. You know, this doesn't seem to bother him. Melo is able to maintain his focus when he's attacking the basket. It's almost like the defense wasn't even there. Now here's Bosch. It's a three-point game. Here's Waiters. No good. That would have tied it. The Knicks have gone 7 of 15 from the field at this point. Right side Rose. Shoots a three. Score of the basket. Nice shot after missing his first attempt. Outstanding start from three-point range. Their shooters are on fire. Rogic kicks to Bosch. To the right side. Pass to Waiters. Feeds it to Whiteside. Sweet move. He takes it up and lays it in. Whiteside's got five. Yeah, and there it is again. On a lot of their possessions this first half, they've established great inside position. Screen by Porzingis. Porzingis with a screen on Waiters. And it's Lee penetrating. And Lee with the stop. Ooh, that's as forceful a finish as you're ever going to see out of this guy. Well, gee, it adds now to their lead in spectacular fashion. You know, and I'm not seeing any urgency out of this defense, especially considering the deficit in the score. Here's Trogic following the score by New York. They get it back, tries again, and so he draws the foul on the shot, a trip to the line to shoot two. The Heat shooting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. Free throw missing, and a new group in for the Heat. James Johnson checked in for Bosch. Derek Williams comes in for Justice Winslow. Richardson, he's checked in for Dion Waiters. And it's Tyler Johnson in for Goran Dragic. And he's good on the second. A lot of great defensive-minded coaches, too, in the NBA. Who stands out there for you? Boy, this is Tom Thibodeau for me, yes. right? I mean, he changes the way, you know, you talk about taking away boxes and elbows in the NBA, loading up to both side, giving up contested twos. That's Tom Thibodeau. Attention to detail. No question. Thomas's shot is off. And even though he missed that, you have to take those shots when you get the opportunity. No, no question. If you don't take it, you actually go away from what the scheme is trying to create. Jennings kicks to Thomas. The pass to Kuzminski. He dishes it to O'Quinn. There's the call on James Johnson. 
That is his first foul of the game. There's the pick. No one near Jennings as he lets it fly. New York, no good that time either. In the corner, it's Richardson. That's in, coming off the assist from Johnson. Richardson's got five points so far. And good passing, setting up a lot of these buckets right now, Kevin. That's been the key. And taken away by Johnson. 137 left here in the first quarter. Yeah, the defender all over. Miami shooting their seventh and eighth free throw attempts for the game right here. And he can't get the first one. He's off on the second. And here in the early going, missed free throws starting to become the story. Richardson against Jennings to the left wing. Kuzminskis good on the three-point shot. And the Knicks lead by three. There's 117 left to play here in the first. Johnson kicks to Whiteside. Richardson up top from deep. It's good from long range. Richardson's got the game tied up here for Miami. The rapid fire threes coming from everywhere. Boy, both teams really attacking from downtown right now. This is a long range battle at the moment. Now here's Thomas. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game for him. 44 seconds left in the first quarter. Johnson kicks to Williams. Back to Johnson. It's Richardson on the wing, guarded by Holiday. Here's Whiteside. And good work on the boards. They pick up the second chance points. Whiteside's got eight points. And they have a narrow edge here in rebounding early on, and you wonder what kind of a role that's going to play moving forward. Now, here's Thomas. This is it to Kuzminskis. He feeds it to Jennings. Down to five on the shot clock. Inside. And Whiteside sends it back. Richardson. That one, no good. It's a tie game in New York. And we'll be back shortly for the start of the second quarter. Well, we know what Derrick Rose has been through, the injuries, the expectations. And we asked him how he's dealing with all of them. I got a clear mind when I play. I can't think about um, the past. I can't think about if I'm going to hurt myself, if I move the wrong way. When I'm out there, I have a free mind. I have no expectations on myself. I just know that I prepare myself well. There's no pressure. Well, and Rose says no pressure, but I have to feel like there's at least a little bit, guys, of pressure to get back to where he was. Yeah, I mean, league MVP in 11, once considered a, a cornerstone for the NBA's youth movement. Hey, with a little more luck, he, he may still be that. And the second quarter getting underway. No team gaining an edge so far. And looking at what we've seen from the Knicks so far, what do you guys think? I tell you what, the scoring has come in threes for the most part here so far. Boy, the perimeter attack has been relentless. You can see them setting up from distance, but stopping them is another matter. 
all fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset the lineups courtesy of Gatorade as the second quarter gets going. And New York looking at who they've got. They've got Thomas. Jennings out there with Noah. And it's Kuzminskas in at the four-man position. Now here's Bosch. Goes up on the wing. Joe Kim Noah grabs the miss. Hey guy, that's the shot he'll take again if he's given the chance. We all know he can knock that down. Some nice passing by New York here. No other screen. Jennings against Johnson. Out to the right wing. For three. Jennings can't get it to go. The Heat trail by three. Now you think about Jeff Hornacek's reputation as a coach. He runs a modern offense, likes to get his guys out and running in transition, and he's going to spread the floor with players that can drive and shoot and have no problem letting it fly from deep. That's fun. And it's the Knicks with the ball. Following the score by Miami. Noah I post. Working on Bosch. Noah gets to Jennings. Johnson with the defensive effort. For all our viewers that remember just how Hornacek was as a player, the way he designs and executes his offense makes a lot of sense. It sure does, Kevin, because Hornacek, the player, was a dead-eye shooter who could punish you if you left him open. And his style is something that seems to be the remedy to what the Knicks were too prone to doing in recent years. Long twos and not capitalizing in transition. Count it. Jennings has got five now. You know, those kinds of shots from close range, they're real confidence builders. Hard to miss those. Johnson kicks to Johnson. To the inside, Williams. That's in there, Johnson with the assist. Williams has got the lead up to one now for the Heat. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. Pass to Thomas. Here's Kuzminskis. He's guarded by Williams. Johnson with the block. He kicks it to Johnson. Bosch dishes to Johnson. Oh, and the jam by Johnson. And he's an automatic finisher when he gets into that area. He is, and he picks the simple one-hand stuff to get the two points. Now here's Jennings. Five points in the game. You know, something's off. His shot mechanics, perhaps, and they need him to shoot it well right now. Johnson kicks to Bosch. He takes it into the teeth of the D and converts the layup. Now it's a five-point Miami lead. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. The feed to Holiday. Right wing. Thomas kicks it to Noah. The dish to Holiday. Good on the baseline, Jay. That, my friend, is what we call poetry in motion. Terrific pass that led him right into the shot. Kicks to Ellington. Picked by Williams. Fishes to Bosch. Noah with the block. Here's Holiday outside Jennings. Thomas kicks to Holiday. Pass to Kuzminskis. Back to Holiday. His shot is good, making him a perfect two for two from the floor. I mean, the number of points they scored in the paint already here it is eye open. Johnson, the pass to Bosch. Got the key, Ellington. Soft touch off the glass. Ellington's got four this quarter. If you give him an inch of space, he's going to make you pay. Feeds the Thomas. Outside Holiday. To the middle. It's tipped. Stolen by Bosch. Johnson with it, and Holiday picks him up defensively. Bosch, that's good. Man, have they been effective at getting the ball inside. Jennings dishes to Holiday. Outside Jennings. No other screen. The drive by Jennings. Can't hit that one. Some solid defense from Johnson. And the pass to Ellington. Inside. Wash kicks to Johnson. Nice spin off the left rim and in. 
Now it's a seven point Miami lead. And that's 10 straight points in the paint. The defense, nowhere to be found. Jennings gets to Holland. To the paint. Six to shoot. Jennings passes to Kuzminskis. A shot by Holiday. Nobody around. New York, no good that time either. Down low. And it's Bosch that time on the assist by Williams. 12 points for Chris Bosch. And a sharp pass to set up that high percentage not, shot not. in close. You know, one thing I think that Derek Williams had working against him was where he was taken in the draft. I mean, pick number two overall, he came into the league with a ton of expectations. And it's clear he can't be a franchise guy. But he can contribute important minutes to a winning team. And Doris, as you said, it can be so difficult for a player to live up to draft position and expectations. Williams seems to have moved beyond that now. Well, I think it's Williams' talent and skill. That's never been in question. He's always been able to run out and contribute. I think for him, it was a matter of expectations, being too high for the player he was out of college. And now that time has passed, he can sort of focus on helping his team win in a smaller role and not be faced with the kind of scrutiny that comes with being such a high pick. right now for the Knicks and then for Miami Winslow's checked in for Johnson Dion Waiters comes in for Derek Williams and it's Drogic in for Tyler Johnson outside Rose to the inside shot to stop the run Anthony's shot is off good job by him on the glass here tonight plus eight in that department Waiters Target there that would have pushed the lead to double digits. Lee dishes to Rose. Passes it to Anthony. Tries from 16, and it's good off the glass. Anthony's got nine. You know, his whole career from Syracuse to the NBA, Mello has always been dynamite in the mid range. Lee with the steal. Rose kicks to Porzingis. Yes, it's Rose with the assist that time. Now just a five-point Miami lead. Outside Dragic. He dishes it to Waiters. And he gets that one to go off the front iron. Waiters got his second bucket. Yeah, the chemistry has been terrific. Really impressed with their offensive execution. Anthony, the pass to Persingas, goes up on the wing. That one doesn't drop. And it's Miami the other way. And Waiters kicks to Winslow. And he feeds it to Dragic. And that basket pushes the lead to double digits. And now it's a 10-point Miami lead. Rose dishes the lead. to Rose. Back to Quinn. Just five on the clock. And the shot goes in. Boy, broad-shouldered, barrel-chested. O'Quinn showing his strength right there. Both teams deciding to change it up. Doris, we asked fans to write in questions for you. We've had thousands of literally thousands of letters emails coming in that the fans want you to answer questions so well, here's one i just picked out of this fishbowl here uh this is from joe in portland what are your hobbies outside of basketball yeah i think this might surprise people but i love to cook kevin uh not that i'm going to spend three hours in the kitchen but uh having been the mother of two children i love to cook my daughter loves to cook with me the other thing is i live at the ocean so you can oh. you can find me on the water i want to be one of your kids <laughs> my gosh it's not a bad life now, i picture you as like with a towel draped over your shoulder and coaching thinking it through but enjoying the cooking process oh there's no question i'll tell you what if i make a good dish just like John Thompson, the, the towel's <laughs> over the shoulder, but if I have thrown it down, that towel goes in the air. You can cook. No question. <laughs> <laughs> Waiters with the ball. 
Now Anthony defending. Boy, his shot's a little off tonight, but they're out in front because other guys are stepping up. New York moving the ball around. Good. They're scoring boatloads of buckets. It's raining buckets from inside. Winslow is screen on Lee. Richardson the pass to Dragic. Right side a screen. Now the feed to Winslow. Stolen by O'Quinn. Richardson against Lee. Leans inside. And plenty of contact on the shot. So two free throws coming up. Oh, the, the officials are all over that one. The Knicks have started out 0 of 1 from the line, missing their only other attempt earlier. At the line number two. And he makes the first. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. And Miami has possession. They lead by four. Rogic kicks to Whiteside. There's a good screen. The dish to Richardson. That one a little long. That was an extremely weak screen. I mean, he clearly didn't want to sacrifice his body right there. Now Lee. He's got six. O'Quinn dishes the Rose. Five on the clock. To the inside. And count it. Two points for the chance for one more at the free throw line. You know, after not scoring a single point in the first quarter, they're still feeding him, and he's showing his appreciation. The Knicks shooting their fourth shot at the foul line here. And just a much better job of attacking and getting to the line here in the second quarter. Didn't have a single attempt in the first. Now here's Dragic. Seven points in the game. He kicks to Waiters. That's him coming off an assist from Dragic. Dragic has got four assists in the game. Yeah, and they're starting to warm up from the field this quarter. Here's Lee. Anthony, the pass to Lee, and it's out of bounds to New York. They'll retain possession. And really no choice but to lunge for that pass to make sure it didn't get through. I thought he had it for a second. Barely bounced off his fingertips. Miami on defense. They've led by as much as 10. Can't capitalize on the good screen. Winslow kicks to Richardson. Dishes to Dragic. Back to Richardson. Lock at six. With the shot. Haters no luck. Knicks trail by three. Down low. Here's O'Quinn. And he floats in for the easy two. Credit the assist on that one. Pretty much all of their buckets coming from inside the paint now. Kicks it to Waiters. to Richardson. It's stolen by Rhodes. A chance here to go two for one. That has to be their mindset. Get as quick a shot as possible. So the whistle blows on the shot and two free throws for the contact right there. What we have watched these first few seasons of his career is a steady improvement at the line for O'Quinn. He is showing he can two knock shots. them down consistently. He's 0 of 1 from the line, missing on his first trip. Shooting two. Ties it up, and this next one could give them the lead.
off on that one so he goes one for two at the line. Well a little shaky from the line and instead of putting them in front he's only able to tie it up. Five seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Here's Whiteside. Richardson trying to break loose and Whiteside with the basket on the assist by Richardson. And really just led him to his sweet spot for that finish. And here's Rose. Feeds it to Anthony. From the baseline. He squares up and sinks it. Anthony's got the game tied up here for the Knicks. It never ceases to amaze. Mello makes putting up big numbers like this look so effortless. What a performance. It's a tie game in New York. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thanks, Kevin. Derek, how does it feel to be back on the floor again? It feels good, man, especially um, playing with my teammates. We have new teammates. We're just trying to come out here and just play hard and compete. Good to see you back out here, Derek. Thanks a lot. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David. And we'll be right back after halftime to start the third quarter. See you in just a bit. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. And we hope you've enjoyed our first half of action. I'm Ernie Johnson welcoming you back. Shaquille O'Neal is right there. Kenny the Jeff Smith is right there. And this here is the halftime report. A stellar first half for Carmelo Anthony. He had 13 points, two assists, and one block. Taking a look at the Knicks, Kenny, what'd you think? Well, there was one pleasant surprise, and that was the bench. They gave him a big lift. Those guys came into the game, they did all the dirty work, and they scored baskets. And over to Shaq, what'd you think about Miami? Well, they remind me of Arizona. They were flat defensively. They didn't collapse at the end. They allowed over 50% shooting. I expect them to come out much more aggressive in the second half and try to take the lead early on. And that'll do it as the second half is just about ready to begin. Back to Kevin Harlan. We will see you after the game. Hey, watch yourself. We're celebrating. We're the best. <laughs> Welcome back to New York City with all its buses and cars, cabs, people, all the hustle and bustle. This is truly the city that never sleeps. Well, both sides have assessed what they need to do over the break in halftime. We'll see now if one can pull out away here in the third. Carmelo Anthony really has his fingerprints all over this one. And in terms of points in that first half, you know, he's now at a point where we expect him to perform that way. Well, he's given us every reason to anticipate big scoring outbursts, and tonight, no exception. Here's who Eric Spolstra is starting the second half with. Winslow and Bosch at the forward spots. Deion Waiters is out there with Dragic, and it's Whiteside in at the center. They get the rebound. Noah, and it's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. Oh, the, the officials are all over that one. And GA, after being such a fixture in the city of Chicago and for so long, Joachim Noah. Signing with his hometown team, the Knicks, in the last offseason, a bit of a bittersweet end of his time with the Chicago Bulls. A lot of moving parts in his time with Chicago. Yeah, and, you know, his playing time had dwindled, and it was just, I think, in everyone's best interest for him to move on. Uh, it, it's a great fit in New York, both with the team and, and the pulse of the city. Clearly was still valued highly around the league as it took a sizable contract to put him in that Nick uniform. And the free throw is good, now leading by one. They're ahead, but if they don't get a stop here, that free throw could prove critical. 
Dragic kicks to Bosch. Waiters up top. Good, and it's Bosch picking up the assist. And it's eight points for Dion Waiters. Third quarter here and five lead changes so far. And guys, neither team has been able to pull away. Outside, Brzingis. Anthony against Winslow. The shot by Anthony, no good. I wonder what the score would be if they weren't controlling the backboard. And a minute played as the second half gets going. Outside Dragic, down to five on the shot clock. But three. And Lee pulls it down. New York trailing. And the wide open shot from Rose. Drills it from outside. Rose has got six points. And Rose has shown himself capable of knocking down that three when he's got some daylight. Doubled by Lee. The pass to Winslow. He dishes it to Waiters. And right away, they match it with a three-pointer of their own. Waiters got five points now in the quarter. Lee kicks to Anthony. Pass to Rose. Back to Anthony. From downtown. Anthony missing again. And they're one of four here to start the second half. And it's Winslow that time on the assist by Bosch. Bosch has got five assists in the game. Second half of play with just under two and a half minutes gone. Zingas passes to Rose. Porzingis sets the pick for Rose. Back to Porzingis. A three off the mark. Tough start to the second half. Just one five. Wow. Rogic kicks to Winslow. Bosch dishes to Whiteside. Some nice ball movement here by the Heat. A nice shot by Winslow. Important points there. Got him on a nice play. Getting the ball inside and right to the bucket. Zingas passes to Lee. And lots of contact there. Missing the shot. He'll shoot two. They get Hassan Whiteside. The Knicks have gone five of eight from the charity stripe here tonight. Two shots. The first free throw is good. Brandon Jennings, he's checked in for the Knicks. And Miami with a change here, too. Tyler Johnson, he's checked in for Deion Waiters. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. And what an advantage. You really feel like you can always trust him when he's at the line. They set the pick. Johnson outside. Right side of screen. Here's Dragic from outside. Carmelo Anthony comes up with the rebound. Knicks trail by three. And here's Jennings outside. A three-pointer is right on target. Jennings has got eight points. And that high skill level for Perzingas can handle it, shoot it, and pass it. Johnson to screen. Whiteside kicks to Winslow. Let's the three fly. And Chris Bosch gets the three. He's got 15. And the rapid fire threes coming from everywhere. Boy, both teams really attacking from downtown right now. This is a long range battle at the moment. Now here's Lee. He's got eight. Noah with a screen on Dragic. Excellent use of the screen that time. Jennings has got it all tied up now for the Knicks. Still probably could have set that screen with a little more force, but it got him just enough room to be able to finish. That's tipped. Porzingis against Bosch for the lead. And the Knicks hit again from deep. Boy, when he's in rhythm like this, the whole team benefits. His scoring efficiency gives them a major advantage. 
Dragic against Jennings. That one's in there. The next lead is cut down to just one on the bucket from Bosch. Oh, what a night. He's been efficient, consistent, really in a good rhythm shooting the basketball. Lee passes to Persingas. Johnson with it. And Dragic has it in the corner. Outside Bosch. Porzingis with the block. You know, when you drive the lane, you have to know where Porzingis is because with his reach, he can sneak up and send that shot away anytime. Justin Holliday's checked in for Lee. Wayne Ellington's checked in for Miami. And so it's New York with it. It's a one-point game. And Holiday kicks to Anthony. Six on the shot clock. Here's Persingas. And it's Whiteside with the rebound. Whiteside's got the glass covered here tonight. 11 boards for him. Now here's Winslow. Bosch, the screen. To the middle. Here's Jennings. The three from Anthony. The shot's good. Jennings making the play. Anthony's got 16 points. And how about the last five made shots have all been threes. The defense is just giving up a barrage. Johnson the screen. Bosch dishes to Ellington. Six to shoot. For three. Traps in the tray. He's got seven. Nice shot, squaring up from long range, drilling the three. That'll put some pressure on you. Brzingis with a screen on Johnson. Outside, Brzingis. He feeds it to Anthony. And the Knicks hit again from deep. That's a dozen straight points coming off the triple. Johnson outside. Out left of the wing. Shot from 16 can't get it to go and that's a well contested shot yeah he gains good position then gets out on the shooter affects his rhythm holiday with the three and it's miami with the rebound whiteside's got rebound number 12 now tenacity on the glass a shot by ellington no good new york leading by four over to the wing to the paint. Now Bosch. He's got 17. Pass to Johnson. Shot clock at five. The Heat need to get a shot off. And Holiday has it in the corner. Hits it from three-point range. The defense a step slow. You can see the result. The Heat trail by seven. The feed to Whiteside. Drives it from nine. That one's not going to go. Nice D from Porzingis. Johnson against Jennings. No other screen. It's Jennings with the drive. Terrific design on the pick foot. He lays it in. And it's a nine-point Knicks lead. And that's what you like to see right there. A solid move to give himself some room and take it inside. Boy, you think back to draft night, and Porzingis was roundly booed by Knicks fans when he was taken with the fourth overall pick. But that's ancient history now. Time I out, think everyone out. realizes the talent this young guy possesses. Art. New York calls timeout.
And the Heat with some changes. Johnson, he's checked in for Whiteside. Derek Williams comes in for Winslow. And it's Richardson in for Wayne Ellington. from Jennings. That one falls coming off of Thomas's feet. Jennings has got 10 points here in the second half. Johnson kicks to Richardson. Johnson outside. Good ball movement here by Miami. Here's Bosch. It's rebounded by New York. The guy, that's the shot he'll take again if he's given the chance. We all know he can knock that down. Outside Rose. It's back to Jennings. A chance there to push it to double digits, but it's off the mark. Johnson kicks to Richardson. Williams against Thomas. There's the dish to Johnson. Bosch, the screen. Just five to shoot. Johnson's shot is off. The Knicks leading by eight. And here's Rose outside. It's hauled in by Richardson. He kicks it to Williams. And a foul on the shot. He'll go to the strike for two. It goes on Brandon Jennings. And, and you watch Chris Bosch out there always in the right spot, be it on offense or defense. Doesn't get enough credit for how well he positions himself. Always moving to open space to create an outlet or Two get shots. an easy jump shot. And the first one drops. Talking again about Bosch and his impact on the court. A lot of what he does, uh, Greg, won't show up in the box. He leaves his marks on the game in ways stats really can't measure. Uh, it's a great point. And there are a lot of players in the league like that. But Bosch is certainly one of those guys. You, you, you can just see how defenses react to his presence when he's on the floor. Very vocal and acts as a leader on the defensive side as well. And here's Jennings outside. Jennings with another miss. And I thought that was going to drop. It looked good from here. Johnson outside. And it's out of bounds. The Heat able to retain possession here. One forty nine left to play in the third. And again, it's the Heat missing. Good little two-man action there, but they just can't get the shot to fall. I'll tell you what, though. He'll take that every time. That's a great look. It has been a three-point barrage for them since halftime. I mean, unbelievable. Whether they're wide open or defenders draped all over them, they're hitting from distance. Stolen by Rhodes. The Knicks leading by 10. Dishes it to Jennings. Back to Rose. Six on the shot clock. And it doesn't even draw iron. Miami's gotten the three-point shot off 16 times tonight. Seven times they've hit it. Nine times they've missed. Richardson, good. No issues on that one. Good work all around. Pass to Kuzminskis. Rose against Johnson. They set the pick. And foul called as he misses. He'll go to the line and shoot two. And, and the one thing about shots, Rose gentlemen. is that, you know, he can still get up for the two. big matchups. Whenever he faces another great point guard, he one, seems to play this. at his Dang, best Rose. level and, and loves to push himself and, and is willing to step up to the challenge. Let's just hope that he can eventually get back to that all-star caliber presence he had just a few years ago. That free throw, no good. And with Rose and his injuries, it's not easy for him to 
put in a work day every day but as you said he can light it up on the big stage yeah, and that is why he's such a threat even with his numbers being somewhat diminished Rose knows what it takes to be a successful player at the highest level you only wish he wasn't robbed of so much of his game due to injuries and for Derrick Rose the question will be how much of his MVP level of play from 2011 can he recover you'd love to see him return to that form now here's Dragic. He has seven and the foul on Derrick Rose. That's his first foul. I mean, that's it's close, but you know, didn't get on balance quick enough. Thirty seconds left in the third. Right side, Bosch. Knicks with the rebound. He needs to complete that opportunity. Really shocking he botched that one. Kicks it to Rose. They set the pick. Launches it. You can't get that one. And that's going to do it for the... Coach Eric Spolstra mic'd up along the sideline. Let's check it out. We have got to get shots. We trust each other right now. Let's get shots, okay? Got some good looks. We cannot afford to turn the ball over. An emphasis on offensive efficiency there by Eric Spolstra trying to keep his guys fully engaged. Yeah, and patience with the ball is key. Don't force anything. Work together. Take what the defense gives you. Hello and thanks for joining us, folks. The fourth quarter of play should begin momentarily. Porzingis is the four with O'Quinn at the five. Rose is out there with Lee, and it's Anthony in at the small forward. That's the five for New York right now. And the deeper we get into this game, it seems like the more the offenses are in rhythm. Yeah, quite an explosion of scoring here late. Both teams feeling very comfortable in their offensive sets, carrying out their game plans just as they drew them up. Now here's Winslow following the miss by Carmelo Anthony. Feeds it to Whiteside. Here's the screen. The pass to Dragic. He dishes it to Richardson. Just five on the clock. He kicks to Winslow. And so the ball's out of bounds. Winslow touched it last. That's a perfect example of why good hands are important in basketball. It just misread that pass completely. The Knicks leading by seven. Anthony missing again. Well, in the rebounding game, at least, it's been a strong physical performance for him. Richardson the pass to Dragic. Whiteside is screen on Rose. They get it back. Whiteside, good. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. And it's stolen by Dragic. Passes it to Waiters. Outside Dragic. Stolen by O'Quinn. And oh, here we go. Rose, nobody back. And Rose not always focused on creating contact, but with his physical gifts, a lot of times he leaves the defense no choice. Shooting for New York, Derek Rose. Taking two shots. And he makes the first. And the Knicks making a change here. Noah's checked in. And 
and Rose drops them both. The Heat trail by seven. Whiteside sets the pick for Dragic. He feeds it to Whiteside. Whiteside a screen on Anthony. Waiters. No good on the triple. New York shooting well. 50% from the floor. It's stolen by Dragic. Pass to Winslow. Porzingis with the block. Outside Rose. Noah the screen. Shoots the three. The putback. Miami's gotten off to an 0 for 2 start from downtown here in the fourth quarter. Yep, that one goes. 15 points for Dion Waiters. The Knicks leading by five. Rose kicks to Porzingis. Back to Rose. And Anthony gets it to go on the assist by Rose. You know, that's one thing Melo has always been able to do. Use his strength to overpower you and get the advantage. Rose against Dragic. Here's Waiters. Here's Whiteside. At basket number six to his stat sheet. He's now six for ten. Where's the box out? Some easy second chance opportunities there. That's just laziness on the part of the defense. Not hustling to get to the boards. Now here's Rose. Outside, Brzingis. Pulls up on the elbow. Anthony missing again. Well, he's trying to shoot his way out of this slump, but it's not helping his team. That was an awful quarter. Fourth quarter of play, and over three and a half minutes have gone by. There's the feed to Winslow. Fires the three. The rebound by Noah. Noah's got six rebounds in the game. And here's Rose. Outside, Brzingis. No good from outside. What a great opportunity. Nice open look. You'll take those any time you can get an uncontested shot. Rogic dishes to Whiteside. And the call will be against Joe Keen Noah. That's his third foul of the game. Chris Bosch has checked in for Richardson. Here's Waiters. Rogic the pass to Winslow. Offensive rebound. So he gets the whistle. Contact on the way up and two shots coming up. And that one misses. He's good on the second. Listen, they're still right in this thing. Missing that free throw, though, keeps this a two-possession deficit. Rose kicks to Porzingis. Stolen by Bosch. Here's Waiters. And good. Got the friendly bounce off the right side of the rim. Waiters got 11 points here in just the second half. Porzingis sets the pick for Anthony. Now the dish for Rose. That's in there. Anthony with the assist. Anthony's got three assists now in this one. And as long as he retains that great explosion in his legs, Derrick Rose will be a factor around the rim. Dishes it to Whiteside. Dragic with a screen for Whiteside. Pass to Winslow from 12 feet out. Here's Bosch. Lays it up, and despite of the excellent defense at that, Bosch has got 20 points. The tenacity on the interior, just battling, bringing that effort and will for second chance points. And it's Justice Winslow with the foul. That'll be his second foul of the game. Up. 
on defense the Heat. So far in the fourth quarter, they've allowed just six points. Lee against Waiters. And here's Anthony for three, and the foul on Derrick Rose. That'll be his second foul of the game. The Heat have gone 6 of 13, so just above 46% on their field goal attempts here in the court. Double team on Bosch. Taken away by Anthony. The wide open look here for Perzingis. A three pointer off the mark. Miami trailer. Trogic with it. They set the pick. White side kicks to Bosch. And there's the whistle, fouled hard on the shot. He'll go to the line. It's on Przingis. No question, he got bumped on that shot. Shooting two. Makes it, and the next one could tie it up. Johnson, he's checked in for Miami. And it's tied up with that one. New York's gone ice cold from three point land, 0 4 since the start of the final quarter. Throws against Dragic. It's stolen by Dragic. Stolen by Noah. One on one, fast break. Now here's Lee. Outside, Brzingis. Here's Anthony. And the Knicks miss again. I don't know if he's tired or what, but he is definitely holding back a little bit, and he has to step his game up right now. And now, in transition is Lee. Here we go. It's good. And the Knicks lead by two. The Heat shooting at 52% from the field. They're clicking. Rogic dishes to Johnson. And fouled hard that time. He'll get to the line and shoot two. No, I tell you what, he earned his money on that foul. He's off on the first. Brandon Jennings, he's checked in for New York. And the second free throw, good. And turnovers have been the issue for him. You can see the coaches have gotten into him a little bit about this. They've got to do a better job of taking care of the ball. Now here's Noah. Anthony, the pass to Lee. Basket counts. You know, you love your star players making others better. And Mello with the vision there. Rogic kicks to Winslow. Outside Bosch. Good ball movement here by Miami. Took the opportunity when he saw it. You know, since halftime, he's finally started to shoot with confidence. The Knicks with the lead. Lee kicks to Jennings. Singus passes to Jennings. The three. And it's Miami with the rebound. Bosch has got rebound number 11 for him here tonight. They now take the lead. Ten points for Goran Dragic. Lined it up and knocked it down. His second triple tonight. Kicks it to Jennings. Back to Anthony. Shot clock at six. The tray. No good that time. Well, he wanted to return the favor there for that last three, but it just wasn't in the cards. Bosch with the bucket. Efficiency has been the hallmark right now down the stretch. He is making the most of his opportunities. Here's Lee following the basket by Chris Bosch. Lee, that's in there. Anthony with the assist. Next time. Lee's got six in the quarter. They're getting on a roll inside. Their last three field goals have come from the paint. Wide side is screen on him. On the wing, Johnson. Outside, Bosch. 14 feet away. 
and it comes off the front of the rim. And, and they get the rebound, but guys, that's been the issue throughout the game. Porzingis kicks it to Noah. Feeds to Carmelo. Porzingis with a screen on Winslow. Here's Noah, and yep, that, that's going to be a flagrant foul. Unnecessary contact. Boy, a, a very hard foul that time, and the officials had to slap him with the flagrant. I mean, you can't let him get away with that kind of contact. Yeah, gee, that's an easy call for the officials to make when there's that much contact. The league is really cracking down on those sort of plays. Here's what Miami's going with right now. Willie Reed comes in for Hassan Whiteside. And it's waiters in for Tyler Johnson. He's off on the second. the pass to Lee. Stolen by Waiters. The kick out to Bosch. Here's Waiters. Outside Dragic. Shot clock at five. Pulls up. That shot off. And New York will come the other way. Porzingis gets the lead. Takes a shot at the elbow. And right through it goes. Lee's got 10 points here in the second half. Boy, right down to the wire here. Still anyone's ball game. Yeah, and after all the energy both sides have expended, both teams still hungry for the win. Now here's Anthem. He kicks to Jennings. Standing by Porzingis. To Anthony. Reed with the steal. Winslow wide open. And he fires from outside off the mark. New York with the ball. They lead by one. Anthony can't hit. And he needs to find other ways to contribute besides shooting. Sometimes you, you have to learn how to play well when you're not playing well. Now here's Dragic. Outside Bosch. A screen on Jennings. Dragic. That's in for his fifth make of the night. Now shooting at a 50% clip. Five for 10. I mean, you never expect to get opportunities that easy coming down the stretch of a tight game. Now, frankly, you shouldn't get them. He is not the player that you want to let beat you. That could be a costly mistake for this beat. Oh, and a fast break for the Heat. Here's the three. It's money from D. Time out, time out. Boy, what a pressure bucket that was. But he didn't let the pressure affect him one bit. What nerves. New York calls timeout. They're behind by four. 52 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Rose is checked in for Brandon Jennings. And Miami also making a switch. Nick Roberts is checked in. And on our sideline, our reporter, David Alder. Well, he was able to listen in on what Jeff Hornacek said to his team. Yes, they're behind right now, but he's still upbeat. He said, guys, we can get back in this game. Stay together out there. All-out effort can win this game. That was Anthony left side. Looking to get back on track here. Miami grabs the miss. Not a quarter to remember as far as his offense is concerned. No, it feels like he's forcing things. Getting a little frustrated by not letting the game come to him. 
Now here's Waiters from 13. Derek Rose grabs the miss. I tell you what, the defense should send Christmas cards for that miss. Six seconds separating the shot and game clocks. And honestly, not real happy with the shot selection on that one. He knows it. He just got locked into scoring mode and couldn't get out of it. He had to foul, and on that occasion, to stop the clock. That's the enemy in this situation. Two shots. Gentlemen, two shots. Two shots. First free throw is good, and that puts them up by five. The Heat making a switch here. Johnson's checked in. So he drops them both. It's a six-point ball game. And as long as they can keep doing that kind of work at the foul line, this lead will be safe. New York calls timeout. They trail by six. 20 seconds left to play here in the fourth. Guys, your thoughts? And I'm not sure the two-point bucket does much here. I think they got to go for three. Unless it's an end one, a two-pointer makes no sense. Unfortunately for them, the defense knows this too. Twenty seconds left in the fourth quarter. He muscles it in through the contact, and they call the foul. And he's on his way to the free throw line. And Derrick Rose, accustomed to carrying a team offensively, taking and making big shots down the stretch. Nothing new to him. One shot. Find the lanes. And that one misses. And an intentional foul there stops the clock. You have to foul, but I'm sure they would have liked to foul someone different. James Johnson taking two shots. Shoot two. He drops the first one, and that puts them up by five. And so both free throws are good. And it's a six-point ball game. New York calls timeout. They're down by six. 16 seconds left to play in the final quarter. Guys, what do you think? And I'm not sure the two-point bucket does much here. I think they got to go for three. Unless it's an end one, a two-pointer makes no sense. Unfortunately for them, the defense knows this too. Sixteen seconds left to play here in the fourth. He dishes it to Lee. He tries for three. The offensive rebound. Rose passes to Persingas. Rose kicks to Persingas. Out to Lee. Misses there. And so it's Miami winning this one. A narrow win under difficult circumstances, Greg, as the visiting team. It really was, but that didn't seem to bother him. I mean, road team, home team, all I know is they were the better team. Well said. 
And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thanks, Kevin. Goran, nice win tonight. What was working for you out there? Uh, you know, we, we are as a team, so we play as a team. We are fighting back, and we are just solid in defense. Uh, make some easy basket in transition, and in the end, we won that game. Yeah, the fast break was really rolling tonight, and it got you a win. Thanks. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David. Great interview once again. And that'll do it, folks. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Alder, this is Kevin Harlan along with our terrific 2K Sports crew thanking you for tuning in. See you later. The 2K Sports Post Game Show. Thank you, Kevin. Now we move on to our Jordan player of the game, Chris Bosch. Scoring machine inside. He worked relentlessly carving out position, calling for the ball, and his teammates gave it to him and fed him, and he delivered. He's a road warrior because he was on that edge in that game tonight. Oh, my boy. That's what we don't always see from this guy. But tonight, road warrior. And that's it for tonight. But we've got a whole new NBA season ahead of us. For Shaquille O'Neal, for Kenny the Jet Smith, for Kevin Harlan, wherever he might be, and the entire 2K Sports crew, I'm Ernie Johnson. We'll see you again very soon.